Hello everyone, welcome back to Amin Mass Club. Today we have a nice exponential problem which is Olympiad problem that is 4 over x times 4 over x is equal to x over 4. Now starting our solution and we have to solve this problem for value of x. So here we have our left hand side here it is uh, 4 times 4 over x times 4 over x so it is equal to 4 over x times 4 over x and if you multiply both hand side by that is 4 over x so here we have 4 over x and similarly x over 4 times 4 over x we have just multiplied 4 over x on both hand side here our right hand side for cancelling out with 4 and x with x we have only the value of 1 so here it is a times a times a which is a cubed and similarly 4 over x whole cubed that is equal to here we will get 1 so 4 over x whole cube is equal to 1 now here we are going to uh, just pause first of all we just shift this one so 4 divided by x whole cubed minus 1 is equal to 0 now supposed let us suppose this 4 over x is equal to m so it is our equation 1 now substituting this value here in our problem so we will get that 4 over x cubed which is equal to m cubed minus 1 is equal to 0 and here this one is also equal to 1 cubed is equal to 1 so we just write m cubed minus 1 cubed that is equal to 0 here we have a nice exponential problem uh, exponential on that formula so if we have a cubed minus b cubed it will be equal to a minus b times a and here plus a times b plus here as actually it is a squared so a squared plus a times b plus b squared now applying here we will get m minus 1 times m squared plus m times 1 which is equal to m and plus 1 squared is equal to 1 that is 0 now we have two possible cases m minus 1 is equal to 0 or m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0 so in first case m is equal to shifting minus 1 we have m is equal to 1 and in second case m squared plus m plus 1 so here we are going to use quadratic formula so here value of a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is also equal to 1 so we have quadratic formula which is m is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a so here by putting values we have m is equal to minus b is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 squared is 1 and minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2 times a is 1 so now our next step will be here m is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so our next step is minus 1 plus minus here we will get minus 3 square root all over 2 so m is equal to minus 1 plus minus this minus 3 can also be written as 3 square root times square root of minus 1 all over 2 so here minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 is minus 1 square root is equal to i all over 2 now we have two values of m here that m is equal to let's say it is uh, m is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3 i all over 2 
and other value is m is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3 i all over 2 now we have actually three values of m so third one is m is equal to 1 so let's say it is m1 it is m2 and it is m3 we have just find out three values of m now here we have to recall our problem uh, that is our supposition here for m1 is equal to 1 so now recall our supposition as we have supposed that here 4 over x is equal to m so putting here then 4 over x is equal to m but m is equal to 1 then 4 over x is equal to 1 so by cross multiplication we will get x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 so here we have first value of x which is x1 that is equal to 4 it is real solution now we are going to use uh, this value of m2 so again recalling the same it's position 4 over x is equal to m so putting m2 now here we have 4 over x is equal to here m2 is minus 1 plus square root of 3i all over 2 so by cross multiplication we have x times minus 1 plus square root of 3i and here we have 4 times 2 so if we divide this minus 1 plus square root of 3i on both sides minus 1 plus square root of 3i then here it will be cancelled so x is equal to 4 times 2 is 8 over here minus 1 plus square root of 3i now if we multiply by conjugate so we have minus 1 minus square root of 3i over minus 1 minus square root of 3i now x is equal to multiplying numerator then we have 8 multiplied by minus 1 minus square root of 3i and divided by here minus 1 plus square root of 3i and minus 1 minus square root of 3i now here we know that a plus b times a minus b it is equal to a squared minus b squared so using this algebraic formula here then we have x is equal to a times minus 1 minus square root of 3i all over here we have our value of a is minus 1 so minus 1 squared minus here square root of 3i whole squared now x is equal to here x is equal to a times minus 1 minus square root of 3i all over minus 1 squared is equal to 1 and here square root of 3 squared is equal to 3 and i squared which is equal to minus 1 so our next step will be here x is equal to a times minus 1 minus square root of 3i divided by 1 minus minus plus 3 times 1 is 3 so we have a times minus 1 minus square root of 3i all over 3 plus 1 is 4 so 4 1 is 4 4 2 is our 8 we have the value of x which is equal to x is equal to that is 2 times minus 1 minus square root of 3i and if you multiply 2 into parenthesis we will get 2 times 1 is minus 2 minus 2 times square root of 3i so it is our value of x now we have other value of m that is m cube we are going to use this value here m cube is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3i all over 2 so now m3 is equal to 
minus 1 minus square root of 3i all over 2. Now recalling our position here that 4 over x is equal to m. So putting value of m then we have 4 over x is equal to m is minus 1 minus square root of 3i all over 2. So by cross multiplication we just write x is equal to 4 times 2 is 8 divided by this is minus 1 minus square root of 3i. Now multiplying by conjugate we have minus 1 plus square root of 3i divided by minus 1 plus square root of 3i. Here we have x is equal to that at times minus 1 plus square root of 3i all over minus 1 times minus 1 here a plus b and a minus b which is equal to a squared minus 1 squared and minus square root of 3i whole squared it is equal to a times minus 1 plus square root of 3i all over here we have 1 and minus 3 i squared is equal to minus 1 so minus time minus is plus 3 that is equal to 8 times minus 1 plus square root of 3 i all over 4 so here 4 1 is 4 4 2 are 8 we have x is equal to 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 and minus 2 times square root of 3 so it is plus here minus 2 plus 2 times square root of 3i so it is our third value of x that we have just find out now our final answer is that here we have our value of x that is x1 here we have x1 is equal to 4 x1 is equal to 4 which is real solution so x1 is equal to 4 it is real solution and now x2 that is x2 is equal to we have it is our value of x2 we see that it is x2 that is complex solution now x2 is minus 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 i and x3 is this one is our third value of x minus 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 i so these two values are complex solution it is our complex solution so we have just find out three values of x here now we are going to just check our entire solution here step by step If you have any problem, any doubt, you just ask question in comment box. So, it is our entire solution. So, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting contents. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.